OK, so I'm here with um, Alex Coe, who I consider to be a very strong player. So imagine my surprise when in round three, um, Alex was playing my son, Mark, who I consider to be one of the junior players. So Alex, what, what has happened? Yeah, so um, what happened was uh, yesterday I drew my pairing and I got Tetsu Satani from Japan. Uh, of course, everyone knows he's an excellent player. So I did have quite a good game in round one, but uh, somehow I missed the draw line and eventually uh, I had quite a bad loss. And I guess that somewhat affected my mood in the game two. And even though I was up by 28 this after I checked the game, uh, I somehow managed to lose the second game as well, which was quite a big blow considering I'm supposed to be the captain of Team Singapore and to help lead some wins. So I guess the, the pressure kind of got to me. So um, yeah, basically that game, th those two consecutive losses resulted me in you know, going from table two all the way to table 37 in just two rounds. And yeah, I guess when I was in the last table, I had a very difficult position because I was playing a junior player as well. Yeah, and Mark was also telling me that he really wanted to win. So I had to just try to control <laughs> and take a balance between uh, right. playing him. Yeah. Just if you, yeah, yeah, do no. you, be you people heavily, don't, don't feel embarrassed or just if, you worry about yourself. Okay. Um, but so you said in the first game you had a draw. How late did you miss it? So I think it was about maybe 8 to 10 MTs, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Maybe more, I'm not too sure. But it, if I saw the move, it would have been a very straightforward move sequence. But um, instead, because I was pressured by time, I only had maybe a minute or so on the clock. So it was quite difficult. Okay. So yeah. it. it, it it's justifiable that you missed it, yes. but it's still annoying that you missed it. Yes. And that sent you into a, a downward mood. Right. And then in your second game, you were winning? Yes, I was winning quite uh, a lot by maybe 28 discs in the mid game. Okay. And then just somehow uh, found it very difficult to, to focus because the, the first game was still in my mind. Yeah, and somehow I, I played, uh, I saw something wrongly and I've just lost from okay. there. Yeah. And so. How, it's not nice to start a world championship in, in without uh, wins, but it happens. Yes. So what do you do from here? Like there's still another ten rounds to go um, before the semi-finals. Yes. So it's still possible for you to do a, a good run and get to the semi-finals. Um, but how do you mentally prepare for? Like you struggled after the first game mentally. Yep. How do you put those games out of your mind and now move forwards? So, um, yeah, I mean, being in the semifinals is everybody's uh, goal, ultimately. And uh, knowing that I already have two losses in, in my book, uh, I only have maybe one or two losses to give to try, to try to even get into the semifinals. So uh, I think that puts a lot of pressure on me going forward. Um, so to try to manage it, I guess, uh, is to try to draw back on my experiences and try to um, just play my game, just focus on every move possible and just try to make the best of uh, what I have now. Um, from uh, There's this unofficial submarine tactic that is you know, somewhat discussed among players saying that if you lose the first two games, you end up in the bottom half and you generally get easier players. So um, I'm hoping that I can still you know, build uh, stable wins from here and try to move from strength to strength. And in the next interview, you can't go back on this now and say that you did that deliberately if you do go on to win. Oh, yeah, I'd lost yeah, my first I, two games on purpose. Yeah. So <laughs> I mean, no, nobody wants to lose at, at the start. Everybody just wants a straight win. So it, it can't be because I want... Be so it's a, a little it's consolation and encouragement. That right. Sometimes it has happened that people have lost, got easier games, and then gone on a huge winning streak right. uh, and done very well. Well, I'm hoping that you do do very well so we can get you in for another interview. Okay. And then the significance of this one will be much bigger. Um, and uh, we'll string the two together when you reach the semi-final. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.